JANUARY IS NATIONAL CERVICAL CANCER MONTH. ACCORDING TO THE CDC, CERVICAL CANCER IS THE FOURTH MOST COMMON CANCER AMONG WOMEN GLOBALLY. IN THIS MORNING'S EYE ON HEALTH, WE HEAR FROM A LOCAL PHYSICIAN ABOUT THE RISK AND WAYS TO PREVENT THE DIAGNOSIS. CERVICAL CANCER IS A MALIGNANT TUMOR OF THE CERVIX, THE LOWER PART OF THE UTERUS. Local gynecologist so with Our Lady of Lords Physician Group, Dr. May Thomasy, now, says patients don't always show symptoms of cervical cancer. She says cervical cancer can be detected early, but symptoms are commonly detected in its late stages. Urinary problems, uh, bleeding outside of what is a normal period, or for women who shouldn't be having bleeding, if they experience any vaginal bleeding, that's, that's, those are typically uh, late-term signs. More than 99% of cervical cancer is caused by human papillomavirus, or HPV. Dr. Thomasy says 80% of women by the age of 50 have been exposed to it. The question is who's going to keep it around? We know that women who smoke or women who are immunocompromised or have certain medical conditions can keep HPV around uh, and their body has a more difficult time of clearing the virus. The preventable and non-hereditary disease has several risk factors. It can be best detected and prevented through pap smears and HPV testing. We can plug into algorithms to know what is your specific risk based on your history, your age, your medical conditions. Other preventative measures, the HPV vaccine, which covers nine types of the virus, including some genital warts. At the age of nine up to age of 14, there's two doses of the vaccine. As an adult, uh, up to age 26, there's a three part of the vaccine. Now we're even extending that up to the age of 45 for certain patient populations. Dr. Thomas, he says pap testing begins at age 20. However, she suggests if teens are experiencing problems, have questions, or begin sexual activity, they need to see a physician. She says testing normally ends at age 65. However, this is case by case basis.